Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light, Lightroom Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to have a quick and nice and easy one. Um, one that's become really popular with all the Instagramming and uh, Snapchats and things like that with the filters that uh, the younger generations love. Uh, I'm going to bring back one of the old looks. Uh, I call it the 70s hipster look. And uh, it's a lot of fun, easy to do. And you can even save this as a preset in Lightroom and then use it over and over and over again. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Okay, so here I've got an image, nice image here. And uh, it's a little warm. It's not bad, but I think this would be a perfect candidate to take it into this 1970s look. Okay, so let's see. There we go. We cool it down, soften it up, split tone it, give it that classic 70s hipster look. And so let's go ahead and just dive right in and see how we can do it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the photo completely. So we start fresh and there we are. We have a blank canvas and we're ready to go. All right. Now the workflow, you know, you've listened to my videos before. You always know that I say that I usually work from top down in Lightroom and just uh, go down to, you know, from top to bottom. Uh, in this case here, I am going to be changing up the normal uh, editing routine uh, because we're going for a uh, toning effect, okay, or that uh, split toning effect, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump all the way down to camera calibration, all right? And I want to turn around and start the camera to start bringing the hues and the colors that I want to apply for this picture. And you'll notice right here in the camera calibration, I have the uh, red primary, green, and blue primary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, throw the blue primary all the way over into the teal area. Okay, so minus 100 right there. That's going to be the step one. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go over to the red primary, and I'm going to bump that up uh, looking at the photo here. And again, deciding how much or how little. And again, when you're working with your photos, you'll make slight adjustments based on the colors that are in your photo. So I'm sliding back and forth here. I like, I like that. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now we're done with camera calibration. The next step is we're going to uh, work on the um, colors. Okay. So we're going to go down to the color section the HSL black and white and color section but this time we're going if you're on the HSL click color okay and you'll notice we have the primary colors right here that we can individually work on so the first one I'm going to work on is the red channel and I'm going to work on the hue okay and shifting it now if you can't see what you're doing just go ahead and shove the uh, saturation all the way to 100 while you're working okay uh, and then this way you can see what hue you're working with and how your adjustment is working so i'm looking here making adjustments i don't want it to be too strong and i'm thinking negative 40 that's a, a pretty good look okay so now that i've adjusted the hue i need to adjust the saturation back down Okay, because I do definitely don't want it this saturated. Um, and I'm going to move it. Oh. Uh, maybe about plus seven. Okay. And then the luminance value. Uh, luminance is basically how bright uh, the colors are. I'm going to desaturate and brighten it, taking it down just a little bit. Okay. So. I think that's pretty good right there. Okay, so that's it for the red channel. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the orange channel, which is the next one here. And I click on the orange. And again, if you're not certain what's going on, move the saturation all the way up. And then move your slider so you can see what's happening to the colors. Okay, so I'm going to take the orange and I'm going to remove some orange. Move it to the... 
other side uh, not too much all right and now I'm going to adjust the saturation back to what it should be okay so now I'm gonna drop the saturation until I'm happy with the effect and again this is all subjective and you will make adjustments based on your image okay and I'm thinking that's pretty good right there okay so the next channel I'm gonna to go to is the uh, blue channel and so I'm gonna click that and again the blue channel I want to turn around and throw the saturation all the way up and this way I can see what I'm introducing you can see watch the uh, the sh uh, blue jeans here you can see that uh, what's happening based on the colors here so you can tell how you're working with the hue and so I'm going to take this up quite a bit okay because I want to retain the blue even though we're split toning uh, That's that's about as far as I want to push it, and I don't want to oversaturate, so I want to uh, come way down on the saturation. And I'm thinking that's pretty good right there. Again, so you, what you're seeing, what we're doing here is we're introducing uh, tones into the shadows, into the highlights, uh, into the image, and we're making the image right now softer. Uh, more congealing and giving it that soft hipster look as I say okay so now we're done with the color now we're going to turn around and go into the split toning area and so I'm going to come into the split tones and the split tones I'm just going to go ahead and I think I'm going to mess with the shadows a little bit um, maybe Uh, I'm watching the picture as I'm drawing the slider okay till I'm getting the, the appearance that I like uh, saturation I need to increase that till I'm getting the look that I want and if I need to uh, focus my eyes because sometimes when you're editing on a photo and you can't really see you can turn these uh, switches on and off to see the effect so you can see right there that's what it's on and that's what it's off okay Okay, so now we have the split tone and the shadows done. Okay, now the image is looking pretty good. We're still a little bit warm. We're still a little, in my opinion, a little too pink. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and keep working. So now the next thing we're going to do is that we're actually going to go to the basic uh, tab. And we're going to do some basic adjustments here of what I see uh, going on with the photo. Um, I want to cool it down a little bit more. It's a little, still a little too warm. So I'm going to cool it down. Okay. And I'm going to take the exposure down probably just a, ever so slightly. Okay. And again, I'm cooling it, taking the exposure down. Um, it's a little on the soft side now for my taste. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up the, uh, the contrast so that we still keep uh, the definition between the subject and again that looks pretty good right there and the highlights let me see here and again when you're working with photos I always recommend this don't be afraid to play around and experiment because that's how you find out what's being affected in the photo and what's not so just go ahead and grab the slider move it all the way to the left move it over to the right and see what is changing in the photo okay now I want to bring the photo down so I'm going to lower okay that's got a nice soft look and notice we're taking the warmth out of the picture we're making a more soothing uh, cool 70 hipster look all right and so now the whites i want to take it down and dull the whites a little bit so about right there and i also want to do the same thing to the blacks okay and again like i said 
play with the sliders like this so you see what's being affected. So all I'm doing is moving the blacks until I'm happy with the picture on the screen. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. And then I have my v clarity, vibrance, and saturation. Um, the clarity, uh, I may take that. Let me see here. I'm going to, that's too crunchy. I am actually may soften it up uh, with a little negative clarity. Uh, give it that, uh, that cool uh, look. That looks nice. It makes her kind of like go into the creamy background uh, vibrance. Um, I want to tone down uh, the vibrance on the photo as well. So I'm going to drop the vibrance down. Mm, that looks pretty good. And saturation. Again, I'm going to desaturate the photo just ever so slightly. So you can see what happens when I desaturate the photo all the way. But I just want to desaturate it just ever so slightly. I think that's a pretty good look right there. Okay, so you can see already that we're starting to make that conducive, creamy, moody, 1970s hipster look. Okay, and so now we have to just put the finishing touches on this. And I think right off the bat on this one here, I think the best thing we're going to need is we're going to need some tone curving. Okay, all right, so we're going to open up the tone curve. And uh, when you're working with the tone curve, okay, make sure you're on the lin the uh, point curve. Okay, look right here where it says point curve. If it's not point curve, it may be the default view where you just have the sliders. I want you to click the, the point view because what we need to do here, we need to do uh, by points on the graph. And so what I'm going to do, the, the left side of it represents the lights. Or the, I'm sorry, the darks, and the right side represents the highlights, okay, or black and white, as they say. So I'm going to go ahead and put three points evenly on the graph, one right in the middle, right, and one right there, and one right there. So I have one, two, three, four, five points in the graph. So like we said here, this represents the blacks, and what I want to do is... Uh, refer to as crush the blacks okay I want to lighten them up so if I raise them up I'm actually going to lighten as you can see here I'm lightening the taking the contrast out of the the blacks okay and I want to do the same thing on the white side or the highlights I want to turn around and drop it down okay so you can see right there we are creating a moody uh, tone okay and you'll notice that we went into a natural s curve here and now i'm just going to take the tones here the mid tones and pull that down a little bit and i'm going to pull up here to increase the contrast just ever so slightly um, and again this is taste all right and you can see what i've introduced here is the classic s curve with the crushed blacks and the crushed whites okay so i removed contrast by softening the photo and made it a moody picture okay so that is it okay so now that you have all this work done okay it's a simple thing of just saving this as a preset okay uh if you like in uh, uh we'll open up the panel here and open up the presets folder let's see here uh, history close the history panel collections and the preset folder okay so all you need to do is now that you've made all these adjustments and you've done this you can go ahead and save this as a preset in your own Lightroom library and this way you can reuse this over and over and over again so just hit the plus sign and give it a name okay and i'll call this uh hipster and i already have one in here so i'm just gonna call it hipster 2 and select what you want to save as far as which settings we've changed and then hit okay and then now in the user presets you'll see there's the hipster 
Okay, so I could reset this photo, and now I could just go in and use my Hipster 2 and instantly apply that to any image. Uh, so now you can use it from multiple images, and the most you'll have to do is come in and tweak a little bit here or there for each individual photo. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, I find it a lot of fun to go in and mess with it. Okay, so here is the, uh, the hipster look that I had worked on before. And just to give you an idea on how far we've come, okay, there's the before and there's the after. So you can see quite a difference. We've cooled it down. We've made it more moody. Uh, we've made it that classic 70s hipster look. And now we saved it as a preset. So uh, now we can use this over and over and over again on multiple photos. So hopefully you found this useful. And until next week, you guys take care.